Okay, time for our first exercise. We're gonna do impersonation practice. We're gonna do this practice throughout the entire program, looking at different ways of doing it. For now, we're just gonna dip our toes in the water of doing an impersonation. Now to ground it all in this whole greater project of learning a language, once again, we're looking for a participatory knowing or a sense of belonging in the language environment, which requires us to cultivate a perspective of someone who already naturally falls in that environment, AKA a native speaker. And in order to do that, we need to develop the skill, the procedural knowing of um, capturing, storing, and reproducing speech movements, right? Of greater complexity and speed at greater accuracy and ease. ease. That is the skill that we're practicing. We talked about how we can reduce the complexity by breaking speech down into its separate layers and just focusing on one layer at a time. And we're gonna break, do even more of a breakdown here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a YouTube video and um, then we're going to just practice mimicking these different layers here, right? Now I can do a full on mimicry and mimic the whole person, or I can break it down into a different layer of the voice and just focus on that. I can also kind of leave the voice aside and just focus on the nonverbal communication, the head movement, the arm movement, how the body, best of the body is positioned and moving. So just to show that, what you can do is come to YouTube and think of basically any activity you're, you're interested in. Um, let's say you're interested in um, gardening, right? So you can just Google translate the word, uh, you know, what, what's something you would look for if you're into gardening? I'm trying to get into gardening, so I want to learn, you know, how to plant an herb garden, right? So imagine I'm a French person trying to figure this out, and then I say, uh, oh, it's Spanish, okay, it's not French. All right, and then I want to do French now, so I go to French, whatever. I'm not trying to learn this phrase in French and writing. You already know that's not important. I just want to get that, and then see what YouTube generates. All right, so this is gonna be French people uh, talking about Right, perfect, right? Now, once again, I can reduce the challenge by making it uh, slower. So I'll do that for now. I'm gonna have the speed at 0.5, all right? And a lot of times, you know, people are far away from the camera. What you can do is actually, you know, pinch out and zoom in to get a better look at the person's face. And then now what you're gonna do, before you start any session off, everything we're doing at the very small procedural layer of getting your pronunciation and hearing everything right, is only relevant if it comes back up to the whole, the holistic layer, the gestalt, as they call it. So right now we're practicing gestalt. Make a habit of starting each practice session for this program with looking at a real native speaker and just practicing impersonating them. And then do your kind of specific training we're gonna do later on. And then when you're done with the session, come back, spend another couple of minutes. You know, three to five minutes is good enough just to get the practice in. Really what you wanna do is build a habit. If you're watching movies in the foreign language, or better yet, if you're living in an environment where that foreign language is happening, create the habit of imitating in these different ways while you're walking down the street or just people watching. The more you habitually do it, the more you make a habit of it, the more you do it. The more you do it, the better you get at it. It's that simple, right? So here we already have this French guy talking about how to plant an herb garden. And I can start just trying to mimic the whole thing like this. Right? Now, if you're new, that's be a lot. So what can we do? Reduce the complexity. And um, we'll just start with the voice stuff, which we'll is focus on the voice. We'll leave away all the body impersonation. And both basic one, which you're gonna train a lot this week, is the syllable rhythm. So that's just being like this. De se compacter. De ba 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 ba. Et surtout, qui vont permettre. Ba 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 ba. Allô, en excès de. Da da. Right. If it's too, if you're if it's too much for you to hold and capture and store in your memory, just do a couple syllables at a time and just get into the habit of doing that. What you're training is your capacity once again to not just capture it, but 
You're expanding what's called your working auditory memory, uh, your working memory, that short-term memory, and being able to store more units within it at a given time. Uh, great, so that's just the rhythm. I think I can upgrade it to doing a melodic humming. So that's where I'm actually capturing the intonation. This is really the good practice you wanna do. This is the main thing I want you to practice in general. Because a lot of times you won't hear the full speech, but you can always hear the melody. And let me do it, because it's gonna sound weird. I'm gonna do it at full speed. It's got a bunch of weird planting sounds going on here. Let's do full speed. Right? So what you're noticing is I'm doing different vowel sounds or I might just be humming. <laughs> Whatever feels easy to you. The point is, you're not giving any effort or attention to the other layers of speech. You're just focusing on the intonation, right? So that um, melodic mimicry is what we call it. It's very powerful. Once again, if you build that habit when I'm walking around a foreign country and I hear stuff going on, I'm always doing melodic mimicry. It's like imagining everyone's in a musical and they're just they're just singing little and I'm like right and you're cultivating actually an aesthetic appreciation for it, which makes you pay even more attention, which takes it in and make you learn even faster. So this is a really powerful place to, to be. You can also do melodic vowels. So when you get better at differentiating the different vowel sounds, um, I can leave the consonants aside, but try to get better vowel um, things. I'll put a slower speed here. Apporter aux plantes. Apporter aux plantes. Pour qu'elles se nourrissent. Pour qu'elles se nourrissent. Right? So I'm not so much trying to get the right consonants as, as much as I'm trying to get o -E, really trying to get the vowel. So it's sounding more like the original thing, but kind of like a murky version of it. Right? So you'll notice certain vowels are popping out to you, try to capture those and try to mimic those, right? Uh, and then of course you can do the full thing. Now, that's the vocal thing. I also want you to practice doing the non-verbal. So I can just kind of look at this guy, maybe in the beginning he's more clear, and let's just look at his face. I can break the face down into the upper face of the eyebrows and eyes, and just try to mimic his eyebrows and eyes. La, de la ciboulette, onze ingrédients, ingrédients. Alors ici on a de la ciboulette voilà, pour les balcons. Chloé, tu as vu on... Alright, this guy's changing his things a lot of times. Maybe I'll find a different one. Uh, C'est le problème. The problem with, and probably some video of someone talking about the problem of something. Alright, this guy's talking about the, the, the problem with Leo Duff. Alright. Vous l'attendiez celle-ci. Hein. Alright, great. Now I can just start mimicking this guy's face. Which look at the whole, maybe it's easier. Sometimes it's more difficult for you to isolate these different parts and it's easier to do the whole thing. So you can start at the whole level. I can pause it and then just try to get my head tilt the same way, you know? And like look at his eyes, eyes and his eyebrows. His eyebrows are kind of a neutral position, but his eyes are in a slit position. So I have to close my eyes like this, close my mouth like this. Um, another thing you can do, and we'll be doing this more later on as well, is I can be using my, um, using my uh, loom as a way to practice this. So I can compare at the same time, looking at it and being like. Yeah. Quel est le problème avec Léo Duff On pourrait voir un problème dans le fait qu'en 2019, il filme toujours en 1080p. Mais si tu regardes bien, celle-ci est tournée en 4K grâce à une nouvelle caméra, le Canon et Right, so I'm just trying to focus on his head movement there and try to, try to mimic his head movement, right? So, once again, just take five minutes before a session and practice trying to do these different, um, these different ways of imitating. Use your, use your video for feedback and try to get it better. One thing you'll hear me say throughout this program is process over product. And what that means is I don't care so much that you get a perfect mimicry. 
the product of your effort. What I care about is the process. Are you putting attention into these different places? Because the more attention you put there, the more nuance you notice, the more subtleties you notice, and then the more you can, once again, shape yourself and become more fitted to the environment. You become a better mimic. And we're gonna be focusing in general more on this vocal piece here, but I want you to bring the whole picture out really try to channel and get open up this part of your mind, which we all had as children and started to close down as we got older, but it's always there. This ability to kind of put ourselves into other people's perspectives, you know, take that on, get in, use your whole body, embody a persona. And this really will supercharge your capacity to get into that flow state when you're speaking the language. So play around with these things. I have a screenshot of this. Um, no more than five minutes just to start off your sessions and really get the spirit of things. Then we'll go into the actual drill training of getting your vocal accuracy going on here.